Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemming Development and welcome to our Xcode Tutorials where we have a special little mini series where we're going to show you how to create a table view application. Now this is going to span over a number of uh, tutorials where we're going to show you how to create the table view and the table cells, how to populate the table view and the cell with some information, how to push to the detail view and then finally how to populate the detail view with more content. So we're basically going to uh, create this here while having the simulator. It's a simple table view here and I've chose to base it around uh, famous landmarks around the world. So you can see we can scroll it up and down and each one has an image, a title and a small description of basically where it is in the world. And if we click one of them it will take us to our detail view where the image is now blown up bigger we have the title and the description and then we also have some additional content about the landmark now we can always go back and if you choose a different one you can see now that the um, information of the landmark has now changed so I'm going to show you how to kind of make the information on the detail view a bit different from each of the items we can select in the table view so basically we're going to show you how to create that today. I have Xcode already open here and I'm going to show you how to create the project. It's a simple single view application. We go along, we simply enter the name. So I'm going to simply put table view application, something simple. And then we press next and just create the application. You also notice as well I have the images already on the desktop here. So when we need them, I will be importing those into the project. So the first thing you need to do is head over to our main.storyboard, the interface. Where as you can see we already have a table um the basic um view um view controller, sorry. We need to delete that and simply drag in a table view controller. And then next we need to just simply get the view controller.h and m and we're going to simply delete them as because the um, we when the application loads up it's not loading up a view controller first it's loading up a table view controller it's easy to get rid of the view controller classes and add table view classes as its initial setup as the table view con um, classes are kind of preset and pre-coded for basically table view so we haven't got to do any extra work so then what we do is we right click or control click and go to new file Go to Objective-C class and simply write the name of our classes here. So I'm going to simply put table view controller and make sure it's a subclass of a UI table view controller. Make sure there's no interface or it's not targeted for iPad. Press create and next. Now once we've got them into our project here you can see it's a little bit different setup to a normal view controller but the first thing we need to do then is simply go into our view, um, table view controller dot h and just after the uh, interface bit there we need to do at property space bracket non-atomic comma space strong and that have a bracket there and then space we need to create three NS arrays one for the images, one for the titles, and one for basically the descriptions. So we do ns array space asterisk, and our the first one will be the images, and now have a semicolon. Save a bit of time here, we're going to copy two more, and we just change the names of the ns arrays. So this one will be the title, and the third one will be the description. Now, once we've done that, we can simply jump into our view controller, I mean our table view controller, dot m. Now, because we created the NS arrays, we can now create the arrays within the view did load to populate our table view in a sense. So, if we go to our view, con um, view did load, sorry, and I'll make some spaces there so you can clearly see, and we do underscore and then title space equals space at symbol and then we do a bracket to bring up the objects here so you press enter and do 
at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and then do a comma. So in the first quotation mark here, are we going to type in our first landmark, which is Big Ben? And then to, after that, then we can simply press enter. Again, do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and then fill out our next landmark. So we keep doing that until we got all the um, ones we need. And then to end it, we simply do the, at the end, do bracket, we'll come after the uh, last um, quotation mark and do bracket and then that array semicolon. So that's basically how we're going to populate each one of our arrays. Now, because there's quite a few um, information to be placed in uh, our table view, I have pre written out the uh, arrays here. So that's all the title array there. Just to save a bit of time, I'm just going to copy and paste the next two arrays, but I will walk you through them and tell you what's going on. It's just to save a little bit of time within the tutorial, and we can get onto the more important stuff. So these are the title now the description and the images so if you have a look closely now you can see the title has you need to have the same amount of in each array or you'll cause the application to crash so you can see in the title we have the title of our landmarks in the description array we have the kind of location of our landmarks and in the images the actual image files of our landmarks again now if we go to our images on our desktop here you can see I have them all set in here they're not any particular size to be honest I've just um, haven't resized them perfectly so in the uh, table view they will look a little bit funny but uh, on the detail view we can select our image view to aspect fit and they'll all fit quite nicely so we just import them into our project now to the supporting files okay so now we've got them just build the application there so it all kind of mashes together there we go. Now you can see our first caution here is to simply tell us uh, the number of sections in table view. So in the return here, if we just get rid of this, it's these what are causing the error, the symbol hashes here. And in this section here, the number of sections in table view, we need to return it one, as we're going to have one section within the table view. That will be for our landmarks. And then we've got number of rows in each section, we need to return so how many rows within each section so this is basically how many kind of bars or tape you know sections it's going to display and because we you know you, you never know how many you can add so what I do here is underscore title dot count now this will basically count the amount of titles within our application um, array here so depending on the amount of titles depends on the amount of rows it displays displays basically in the table view so now we've got the table view count here, and we've kind of set up the basics for populating our table view. What we have to do now is create our table cell classes to enable us to display the images, title, and description within each cell. So what we need to do now is go to right click or control and click and go to new file. Exactly the same we did before, but this time we need to select a UI table view cell. And now if I just name this table cell, nice and simple, and add that into our project, we then go to our table cell.h where we're going to add at property space bracket strong, comma non atomic bracket. And we add IB outlet, UI label, space asterisk, and then we simply name it title label. So this will be the um, outlet for our title basically. And that have a bracket there. And again, if I copy it, this will be got free so we can save a little bit of time. And this time I'll do description label. And then this one finally, let's name it the font image and make sure we change the UI label to UI image view. And there we go. So now we've added them in, we can go to our 
tableviewcontroller.m where we need to now then import our uh, new class, our table cell class. So we're just basically telling our table view now that we have a table cell. And then we go down to our cell rower indexed section here. And then what we need to do now then is we need to, we've got static inner string cell controller here. We need to simply name that to table cell. And then we have have this section here, you are table view cell. We simply need to name that to table cell. So basically that's like kind of making our table cell, our, our table view controller to tell our table cell to display within a t kind of table cell kind of section. And then what we need to do now is to configure the cell. So we go underneath here, we do int row space bracket index path oh sorry we're missing the um, equal sign there so equal space bracket index path space row and that with a semicolon and then we do cell dot title label dot text is going to equal our ns array of title there we go and then we do a bracket, row, and that a bracket and a semicolon. Do the same again now for the next three um, outlets and array. So we do cell dot description label dot text space equals space underscore description. And again, two brackets, and in between we do row as that's going to equal to our int number. And then again, we do our final one for our images. So we do cell dot image view, sorry, from image, sorry, as we named it, dot image space equals space bracket UI image, image named, and in the NS string here, we do the array of our images, so which is the, the simply images, and we do bracket, and in between them we do row, and then end it all with a bracket to close it up there, and end that with a semicolon. Now we don't need to change the return as it's equal to the cell, but now if we go into our main dot storyboard, as now if we click on the table view controller here, we go all the way up here to our show identity inspector, and in the class here, we have to add our table view controller, so add that, which will mean the table view now is linked to our table view controller dot m and dot h um h sorry. I drag this down a little bit so a bit of space here. And again we go here and we need to add the table cell to our table cell. We now need to add our image view first into the table cell here. We'll space out quite nicely so it looks kind of nicely placed. And then we need to add two labels, one being our title and one being the description. So we'll just place that there and I'll simply copy and paste it. So we've got a second one. I'm going to quickly just adjust the um, settings of it. I'll make this one a little bit smaller. Bring them up a bit and I'll center them to the image view. Just so they look a little bit nicer when we come to build and run on a simulator. So now we've done that, we simply click on this cell, go to our inspe um, connections inspector, and then we link up our title label to our title label, from image to our image view, and then finally our description label to our description label. Now that we've done that, we need to go to our attributes inspector, and in the identifier here, we need to do table cell. This is linked to our table view controller.m here for our cell identifier here. So it just basically tell you which table cell is that's linked to in a sense. So now that we've done that, we've added our three arrays with information. We've linked up our table cell to our table view controller. We've added our images. 
and we've added the outlets here to display our NS arrays. So if you go to build and run now and basically see what we've created, and as you can see, so far we have populated our table view. Now we don't have the fancy bar at the bottom, the navigation bar or anything like that, because that comes later on when we decide to push to our detail view. So that's it for to this tutorial anyway. I hope this helps in your apps or projects and I hope this is going to help you into creating some brilliant and you know, awesome table view applications. If you like this video, make sure you share it, favorite it and give us a little like. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you like us and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Also make sure you check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geek Element. But for now that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.